So, um, we are doing a Let's Play again. I started another one. But that's something because of who I found out. This is a hidden objects game. Yeah, I know. But if you can recognize that voice, which I'm going to turn down now, it's, uh, that songing, songing, that singing is, um, there we go. Um, <coughs> I'm still sick. That singing is, uh, Rayleigh Holmes, also known as Jane Jensen's daughter-in-law, because this is a Jane Jensen game. It turns out all the hidden object games that I like are actually Jane Jensen games. And uh, the, th the reason why I like them is because they kind of like bridge that gap of find an object and actually use it like you would use it in an um, adventure game. So I figured, why not let's play a Jane Jensen game that people don't know, you know, other than Grey Matter, but people kind of know Grey Matter, so yeah. Let's go. Dying for the Daylight, Episode 1. There we go. Dahlia, wake up. Five more minutes. It's good for my complexion. No. Now. Look at this. Vampire invades wedding. How rude. Dahlia, this happened in broad daylight. Then he wasn't a vampire, and her gown is bad 70s disco. Ooh. But he is a vampire. This is Alejandro Filoff, owner of the Cirque Terrible in New Orleans. He must have the legendary Sun Potion. Terrible. The what? I've been searching for it for centuries. Think of it. A potion which allows a vampire to walk in the sunlight. Sax? Tiffany's? Is it possible? Oh, gee, I'm sending you to you, New Orleans. You like. Find out if Alejandro has the sun potion. And if so, get it from him. Why me? Because you can charm the skin from a snake, my little vampire. Besides, no one will suspect you. Hmm. You're only a vampire. I have been looking for an excuse to visit the VQ. I'll do it. Don't fluff that. Anyway, okay, so we've got our mouse. Um can't do anything with this. Ooh, an action cursor. And an exit cursor, of course. <coughs> and of course a talking. And a magnifying glass. And vampire powers. Ooh. And wait. Any other pages? No? Oh, there we go. Stolen jewels from the wedding. I'm on a mission from Cedric. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I, 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 he should have been going, Whoo! I've been wanting this, the sun potion for years! Um, <laughs> he thinks that a vampire, or V, in New Orleans, Alexandro Filoff, has the potion which allows a vampire to walk in the sun. How could it be possible? Funny how you don't miss the human things until there's a glimmer of hope that you might be able to get them back. I'm off to the vampire quarter. Alejandro will be putty in my hands. What happened here? It looks like a war zone. It does. Episode 1, Vampire Wars. What the fuck? I mean, ha <laughs> ha ha ha. Yes. Ooh. Rescue Jaws. I think I'll borrow those. Ooh. Well, are you gonna take it or are you just gonna... There we go. Okay, let's see what else we got. Well, that's my book. These are my things. This is it. Alejandro's Vampire Circus. Ooh. But someone's torn off the address, damn it. No. And there's something odd here. A funny smell. I'd better use my vampire senses. Ooh. Wait, why did she kind of giggle during that? Ew, that is some funky smell. It's kind of like a piece of roadkill buried in a moldy manure pit. Nice. Yeah, charming. Alright. Okay. You'll keep blinking until I look at it. Okay. Yes, you remember that smell, my dear. Alright. This thing the is The power is still on here. Good to know in case I need to use my hair dryer. Ooh, and I can open it. Ooh. And I can steal the fuses. Let's hope I don't need to put them back. I probably will. Why did that do that? That was a strange noise. Well, it's not a strange noise, it's just a very default early windows noise. Okay. 
There is an optional arcade minigame hidden within the scene called Happy Guillotine. Winners will receive a special prize. Alright. You gonna tell me how to play? You get a score for hitting people's enemies. You lose scores for hitting innocents or for doing nothing. Game is over if you reach zero. Enemy will be executed when the score reaches ten. Beat the game to get a score. <coughs> okay, knife. He was carrying a knife! <laughs> Got him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I missed him! I missed him as well! Got a shiny ring. This flirty uh, silver flirty ring was rumored to have been created by Dracula's order in sixteen in seventeen sixty four, not sixteen seventy four. This specimen is a knockoff. Hooray! Just what I always wanted. All right. Ooh. I know not why that does that. Oh, because we are actually inside um, the hidden object part of the game. So I picked up things that I didn't realize I needed, like the invisible blue. So I'm probably going to cut this section out. Well, or cut parts of it out. Because you obviously don't need to see me, see me going, ooh, a light bulb. But I will probably cut in sections when I go, ooh, I found something that's actually interesting and not just like, a more nutcrackers? Like, as you can see, it's just basically going through and going like, I'm looking for the nutcracker. Oh, I found him. And, uh, anyone see a sock? So skipping. You found the invisible glue. Well, I found actually quite that early on, but I suppose it was, you know, not really what they wanted for a while. It's a pickle barrel. What's wrong with the pickle barrel? You got a problem with the pickle barrel, woman? A virtual tourist machine. Maybe I can locate the Cirque Terrible on here. Maybe you can. Hi there, y'all. Ah. Welcome to the Vampire Corridor. So we natives call it the VQ. Y'all may know that when vampires came out, many were already living in New Orleans because we're such a progressive party town, you know? Yeah. More have moved here since, and now there's this whole neighborhood. I'll tell you all about our fantastic attractions, but first, you have to deposit five dollars. Thank you. Ah, oh, son of a... Okay, whatever. But the interesting thing to note about that is that, um, you know, the whole coming out thing. Have I mentioned that this story is actually written by Charlie, Charlene um, Harris? She's the lady who uh, wrote True Blood. So it's kind of not surprising. But not everything she writes is about vampires, so... Or about them being out in the open. But apparently this one is. So, let's see what we got here. Thurman, how homey. I know. Okay. Vampire Wars. I'd like to read about what happened here, but the door is jammed. Lucky me. Well, you've got vampire strength, lady. You vampire, could just... Vampire Wars. You could just... I'd like to read about what happened here, but the door is jammed. Lucky yeah. me. Hurrah! Vampire Wars. It took the neighborhood of Vampire Quarter several minutes on Sunday to realize that, <coughs> that the screams and thuds that they heard were not business as usual. I slipped through the whole thing, said Elma Whittle, who owns the barbershop in Orleans, but my wife was still hiding under the bed. Firemen and police, or well, the other way around, rushed to the scene, but their accounts of what occurred are confused. They saw dark hooded shapes moving at tremendous speed and that vampires literally flying apart in the streets. A tactical retreat was called while they waited for daylight, but well before dawn, the VQ quieted down on its own. At a press conference this morning, Mayor Foray said, Damn it! These may have been vampires, but they were our vampires! No one has come into New Orleans 
and does this to our citizens. Any vampire still out there can rest assured that we will protect you. That's nice. Yeah, well, I knew about that. Is there anything over here? No? Okay, well, there's a lock thing over there. I'm, I'll look at it properly, but... Fuse box! The fuses are missing. Oh, well, I've got fuses, baby. Good. The smell of that body is already dissipating. Oh. Hey, it's a five. I could use one of those. Yeah, you could. No, this guy escaped the invaders. Only... Only be bit by a snake and what? what? I might be able to reassemble... I might be able to You've reassemble it, but I'll need to find some glue first. Let's see if I can piece this thing back together. Seriously? I don't know how that happened. Okay. Well, how do I... How do I flip these things around? Usually... Ah. Let's see if I know how enough about American money. Okay, I can't do it like that. That's fine. gonna help you're just gonna glue it to the ground wow you got five dollars that are now stuck to the ground congratulations nothing else to do with that guy okay three padlocks mm -hmm. must be something exciting back there but I'd need something strong to cut those locks lady you are a vampire Jump over the wall or something! Vermin, 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 vermin! There's something new here. A presence. A presence. I better use my vampire senses. Okay. Um. Well, there appears to be a huge This pot. calls for a vampire strike. Uh, what are you doing in a pickle barrel? Whatever oh, I hey! Like. Uh, I'm a big fan of pickles. I mm -hmm. bet you are. My grandmother made pickles, you see. Had a brand called, uh, Grandma's Toeses. Uh, toes, because, uh, pickles look like toes. What are you They on? hung all over in her kitchen. Couldn't move around without bonking your head on pickles. Um, I still bear the scars. Um, I see. Well... I'm going to count to three. Then I'm going to rid you of that lying tongue. One, <laughs> two. Okay, okay. I just dove in there because I was scared. Yeah, see, I'm a tourist and I thought I'd visit the old VQ. Guess I pickled, picked um. a bad time. I heard you coming and I hid. Hmm, I don't smell fear on you. No. It's the pickle juice. It's known for covering the scent of fear. Hmm. Okay, tourist. Scram. And I would advise leaving the VQ post-haste. <sighs> Thanks, doll. See ya, and be careful! Uh, <sighs> some humans are just determined to die young. This is screwed up. These victims were vampires. Who killed them, and why? And why did you not want to tell me about this before, lady? Like, 